Hey guys and happy Tuesday. So today I have a couple of reviews for you or an, an unboxing and a review. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I haven't posted too much here recently. We have had a lot of sickness going around the house, just colds and flus and this and that. And we're all just kind of starting to get better. And then once we started getting better, the cycle started all over again. So now my oldest is sick and praying that that's the end of it. He didn't really get sick the first go around. He got a little bit of it, but um, he didn't really get sick like the first couple rounds that it went through. So I'm praying that this is like the end of it. My husband's a little sick. I'm still, <clears throat> you know, not 100%, but I'm getting there. So yeah, so I'm trying my best here to to get back to some type of normalcy and it has been so hard it just seems like I can't you know keep up but anyway <laughs> um <clears throat> I did get sent some items from a couple of companies and I wanted to show you these items now first of all you know that if you've been around for any amount of time you know that I usually have pretty long nails my nails let me come this way usually my nails are long and you know they're not brittle or anything like that but here recently, I don't know if it's because I've been sick or menopause or <laughs> whatever is going on, stress, I don't know what it is. My nails have been super, super brittle. So here, like two weeks ago, this nail here broke all the way down into like the nail bed, into the meat where my nail bed is at. And I just ended up cutting all my nails down, just chopped them all off to kind of start over, kind of get them back to you know, the even lengths. And this one just kept breaking, kept breaking. So I was kind of getting frustrated. I'm not used to my nails being this brittle and just weak. I don't know. They're very, they're not as strong as they usually are. And they're not, they still grow. They're just not growing as nicely and as strong as they usually did. So I was going through, you know, some stuff and I saw this company called a beauty guard and I found this rocket nail fuel and the company was kind enough to send me, can you guys see it there? That's kind of a weird, there we go. It's called beauty guard and this is the rocket nail fuel. Now the company is a plant, like a plant based. They try and, um, they use seven free and they're vegan and I will put their information in the description box if you want to check them out now I have had this for a week now a little over a week I wanted to use it and give you an honest review you know I don't like showing you guys stuff or giving you reviews on stuff that I haven't tried myself um so I have had it for a week the instructions did say to use it you apply a coat and then every day you apply another coat on there for a week and then you take it off and you start over again. And I have been using it for a week. I just reapplied it today. So this is a fresh coat. I took off, you know, the other coats and put a nice fresh coat on. And I want to say this stuff is, it works because all my nails about a week ago, a week and a half ago were shorter than this one so as you can see that one's like there's barely anything there and because I was just tired of them being so uneven and I mean I have a break here in this nail now and I put the stuff on and it like seals it so the crack is, is it's there but it's not there so as I put the more as I put more coats on it it just seals it even more and it works so well now they do have different colors, they have different formulas for different nail types. This is the one that I opted on getting just because um, it's supposed to repair, harden, and grow even severely damaged nails. So here it says, apply one coat every day on top of the last for one week, then remove all the product and begin the process again until nails have reached the desired length and strength. So that's what I did. And like I said, they have grown in that week that I've been using it. So I can attest to the fact that it does help your nails grow. They are getting stronger. <clears throat> 
excuse me, like I said, I don't know if it's, you know, age, if it's from being sick and my body's just kind of taking all the nutrients that it gets to kind of fix myself up. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on, but my skin has been really dry. My hair is brittle. I mean, it's just so many things going on. So, um, so yeah, I can attest to the fact that this stuff does work. So if there's, you know, if you're looking to get your nails strengthened and long and healthier, definitely check them out. I will have a link for their website down in the description box. So definitely check them out. Like I said, they have different colors. They have different formulas. They have kits. They have all kinds of stuff on the website. So definitely check them out. And um, yeah, so like I said, I love it. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't think it worked. Now it worked for me. Um, you know, how well it works for you. It may take longer. It may take more than just one you know, session, but I noticed a difference in just one week. So definitely, to me, definitely worth it. Now, another company called Hippie Crafter sent me a couple of items. Now, these items are unboxing because I haven't opened them or anything yet. I just pulled them out of the package and they sent me a heat gun for crafts and epoxy. It's a dual temperature 100 degrees and 200 degrees. It's portable, um, great for DIY projects, and it heats up quickly. Now, again, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm just unboxing it. I will try it and give you a review on it. And then they sent me a box of mica powder. There is 24 different colors. It says it's highly concentrated, so you, you can create epoxy resin, paint, candles, soaps, bombs, bath bombs, not bombs, bath bombs, <laughs> slime, and more. And it says vibrant pearlescent pigments. And let me show you. Oh, wow. They're pretty big here. It's a little card there. So this is the name of the company, Hippie Crafter. And I'll have their information in the description box as well. And... Looks like some of them kind of leaked through. I mean, it's even on my hands already. Um, but yeah, it looks like they kind of leaked through, which, you know, it's it's just as bad as glitter, you know, <laughs> when you have glitter. But yeah, I mean, these are decent sizes. Does it say how much on here? Let's see. It says 32 milliliters. So I don't know how many ounces that is. My math is not that good to do it that quick, but these are some beautiful colors. They are nice colors. I love them. Nice and bright. And they all have, you know, that shimmer. So I will try those out. I've been wanting to try mica powder um, just in different things. So I'm going to try and think up a craft that I've been working on, that I've been wanting to do for a while now and um, just never, never did. I have a lot of projects. I have a book full of things that I want to do and work on. And so my my goal is to try and get those done this coming year. Um, but yeah, so they sent me that and then they sent me this heat gun. Now I have a heat gun, but my heat gun is like a huge one that I got from Harbor Freight and it works great, but it is big. It's like, this, it's almost like holding a, like a drill. It's huge for, you know, for small projects. I like this one. I've seen like people using smaller ones like this on other videos. Um, but I've, you know, like I said, I've always used my big one. I actually bought my heat gun when we were redoing our basement at our old house and we were doing drywall and whatnot. And that's what I bought it for and then ended up using it for my crafts. But this is definitely going to be better. It's smaller um, and it's not going to be as hot because that one got really, really hot. And sometimes it would melt stuff <laughs> because it was so hot. Um, cause I mean, it wasn't meant for crafts. So I had, like I said, I haven't, I just took it out the box, so I haven't tried it out, but I definitely will. And I will let you know what I think about it. And again, this is what the box looks like. And I love the packaging. The packaging is really, really cute. Oops. I love the packaging. So there's that and that's everything that they sent and I will put and they have all types of stuff this is just kind of some of the stuff they have epoxy resin the hardener sketchbooks canvases paints tape um like the smaller bottles of the resin and stuff so 
definitely check out their site. Again, I will link it down below. And as far as this video is concerned, I am done. I do have some DIYs. They are some Christmas ones. I know it's late, but they're really easy. And I thought for some last minute DIYs, if you wanted to give a gift or, you know, you're still working on decorating, we, I actually have my tree up now, which is kind of amazing because I don't usually put it up until now. And it's been up for, my tree's been up for a week. My decorations have been up for about a week, which like I said, for me is amazing because I don't usually start decorating until like now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so my tree is up, but I do have a couple places where I want to put a little bit more, you know, a couple more decor pieces. So I'm going to be working on a couple of things really easy, but very, very cute and things that I found at the Dollar Tree and stuff that I had around the house. So definitely stay tuned. And, um, if you haven't, I do have Instagram, I have a TikTok, I have another uh, another channel on YouTube for journaling if that's something that you're interested in. Sometimes things that I get on this channel, I will use even more over there. And I haven't built my content up over there as much as I would like, but I also have quite a few things planned out. And um, yeah, so that is it for today, guys. I appreciate you so much. And be sure to check out my, make sure you have your notifications on so you're notified whenever I post, upload a video or anything like that. Um, I will be, like I said, putting up, I do post in my community tab more often than I've been posting videos. So definitely check that out. I'm doing the 12 days of mug mist where every day I show you a new mug. And if you have mugs, you know, Christmas mugs, it doesn't even have to be Christmas mugs. I just love cute mugs, fun mugs, mugs with cool sayings or whatever. Um, tag me if you have an Instagram, tag me on Instagram or go over to my Facebook page. You can post it over there, tag me over there, whatever. I would love to see your mugs. I love mugs. So definitely, you know, check it out and then just use the hashtag 12 days of mugmas 22 or 12 days of mugs. Either way, I'll be looking up both of them to see if anybody has joined me. Um, and again, I will be using these. I, yeah, I'll be using these soon. Like I said, I have a couple of ideas, but I think for the price and I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have the price on me, but check out the website. I love the size of it. It's like perfect for a desk. And then you can just, you know, set it off, put it in a little cup or something like that. And you're good to go with that. So again, check out Hippie Crafter and check out uh, Beauty Guard. And that is it for today. Until next time, guys, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.